Does my hair look bluer? Hold on. Can you see? Is it bluer? I dyed it more blue last night. It's still hard to tell because my hair is so dark. Good morning. Before we get started, I'm going to give you another Casper segment because in the last vlog, y'all like really liked it. So the boy is already here and waiting. Hi. <gasps> is that Casper? Hi. <laughs> you want to say something to the mic? Don't scratch me. He wants breakfast so bad. That's why he's not cooperating. <sighs> the talent is not cooperating. Okay, good morning. I'm going to feed him breakfast. Honestly, I thought of like not vlogging. Don't know why. It just kind of was like... Because I, I thought about it last night. I was like, I should vlog my day today because I'm doing stuff. And then today came and I was like, uh, but what if I didn't? But I'm doing it. Uh -uh, I'm doing it. I'm feeding him breakfast. Um, I'm doing some OF stuff right now. I'm not like... There. I'm not like taking pictures or videos today. Although I will probably do that at some point this week. It's Wednesday, by the way. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Because I think Friday I'm going to go visit Sage. Because on Saturday they're performing in a drag show at their school. And... I'm pretty sure it's their last drag show because Sage is graduating. So I want to see the final show. So I'm going to do that this weekend. Yesterday I bought a pottery wheel. I bought a whole pottery wheel. It's out on my patio right now. I'll show you guys once I'm done mixing this yummy, yummy wet food. Uh, but yeah, so I went to the clay supply shop yesterday, Armadillo in Austin, Armadillo Clay. Um, because I needed some underglazes to paint. Listen, before I show you this, I know she's ugly. But I needed some underglazes to paint this weird <laughs> head cup thing that I sculpted. I know she's ugly, but she's also beautiful, okay? And so when I was there... And so when I was there... I was like, let me just walk past the potter wheels because they sell wheels. And I had really been thinking of buying a wheel recently because... Sit. Shake. Good boy. I'd really been thinking of getting a wheel because I'm doing um, a market... I don't like how I look. Uh, I'm doing a market in June and so I'm gonna need like a lot of stuff stockpiled because it's a pretty big market And so I've been thinking of getting a wheel. I've been looking online and Pottery wheels are very expensive. They are like fucking anywhere from like for a new wheel anywhere from like 1.7 thousand to like it can go up to like 3,000 so there was this one wheel at the shop yesterday that was only... I'm gonna... I don't like that I'm telling you guys the price because I don't like that I spent that much money, but it is a business expense and it's gonna start paying for itself. There was a pottery wheel there that was only, only $975, like $975. Brand new, five-year warranty. I was. I asked the guy, I was like, why is this wheel only... 975 and he was like it's a little bit slower and the like um the wheel like itself is just a little bit smaller but it's like a really great starter wheel and i was looking at it and i was like is today the day like am i about to fucking do this am i about to get a pottery wheel where am i gonna put it i live in an apartment like what am i am i really gonna do this so i walked around the store for a little bit uh, and then when I went to the checkout, I said, I think I'm going to get the pottery wheel. I don't know why I just started talking about that. Oh, yeah, because I did some, I did a little bit of lip. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going back and forth between doing some pottery stuff out there and doing OnlyFans stuff in here because I, um, I don't remember if I showed you guys this. But whenever I sell pay-per-view content, I'm, I have a like master document um, of like the person's username on this side, right? 
and a code, a unique code for that purchase that I put onto the photo or video. So if anything is ever leaked, I can look at the code and go to my chart and figure out who did it um, and sue the ever living fuck out of them. The unfortunate thing is that it does add a lot of time to the selling process. <laughs> and it's honestly quite annoying. But I'm going through that now. I've been doing that for a while and I literally only got through like five people. I have 106 messages right now. So I'm, I'm straight up not gonna be able to do all these today. I will do probably like 10 more because um, at one o'clock I'm getting a tattoo. Is anyone surprised? You shouldn't be. If you are, don't be. Because this is who I am. So I'm finally getting the third Sanrio here. This spot has been reserved for the final character on this arm, or at least on the forearm. Cause I don't know what I'm going to do out here. Um, but I was thinking for a little bit, I was like, who is it going to be? Am I going to do my Melody? Am I going to do Karopi? Am I going to, like, who's it going to be? Uh, it's Hello Kitty. The artist Josh, y'all know, I shout him out all the time whenever I talk about my tattoos. This is going to be the fifth tattoo he does on me. But he posted on um, his Instagram like two days ago. Post He posted saying that he was doing a sale on some flash pieces. And one of them was Sanrio. It was My Melody and Hello Kitty. And I just, I liked the Hello Kitty design better. So I said, would she fit? here on my freakishly small bones and Josh said yeah and I said okay we're gonna do it so I have that at one and then at six I have a date uh it's not a first date it's actually like a second and a half to third date because of it'll be the third time we're hanging out but it'll be our second date um and that's really all I'll say because I don't want to like I very much believe in like jinxing things, so I don't want to talk it up too much. Um, and also it's like very early, like to really say anything about it other than the fact that I'm going on a date. But I'm going on a date with a girl and we've been talking for a little bit and she's really cool, so that's cool. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so obsessed with this girl, it's like not even funny. <laughs> Tiny update on that, because I don't think I talk about it anymore in this video. We've now hung out like six or seven times and it's not like anything official, but I did delete, delete, uh, you know, the apps this morning. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Eh, kind of cool. Okay. There's your update on my love life. <laughs> hey, what the, f I don't know why I just did that. Okay. I'm getting ready, getting ready to go. Um, to the tattoo, which I have at 1. It is 11.58. I'm gonna do makeup, but like, not crazy makeup. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing recently. I think I mentioned this in an old vlog, but I don't remember. But I'm taking my sunscreen. It doesn't matter what sunscreen I use, because like, if you're following along at home, just pick up a sunscreen, right? And I mix it with a concealer. I use the Rem Beauty, like that potted concealer because I don't actually like it like standalone on my face, but I do like when I mix it with something. So I just take a little like, I don't know, a pearl size drop and I mix it with the sunscreen. And I'm going to apply it like all over my face because for one, that's what you should do with sunscreen. But this kind of just like makes it a tinted sunscreen. So it like brightens my skin and evens out my overall skin tone because I don't use foundation. I've really like hardly ever used foundation. Like I've used, you know, it before, but I really just don't like it. I don't like how it feels on my skin. And it's also not something that like I, thankfully it's not something I really need. Like I don't struggle with like redness or acne that much. I do struggle with texture though. It feels gross <laughs> to just, it feels like fucking the Meredith I think her name is Meredith Duxbury, that one TikToker that puts like 7,000 drops of makeup on. <laughs> it looks and feels like that, but it gets better. Trust, trust, trust me, it gets better. Okay, so once it's like all on but not blended, I'm gonna take a mostly dry beauty blender and blend it in like that because when it's dry, it 
soaks up product more, I think. I have no fucking idea if that's true. I don't know why I said that, because I was thinking about it, and, like, it doesn't even make sense for that to be true. Next, I'm gonna... S Ooh. Hello? That was weird. I'm gonna spray my face with setting powder. Setting spray? What the fuck? And then I'm gonna blend again. I'm gonna do just the tiniest bit of concealer. Whenever I blend my concealer, I blend with, like, an outward motion, so, like, I'll start in the center and then move, like, outwards. Now I can set with setting powder. And I don't like do baking or anything, but I guess I do like a mini bake. Cause I'll take, I like set under my eyes first and foremost, because that's where it's like more likely to get creased. So I do let this sit for a, like a tiny, tiny bit, just for me to do my blush and nose contour. This blush is probably expired, but I will talk up this blush every fucking time. If you like a, know how to describe it because this isn't peachy but it's not like a hot pink but it's not like a baby pink i don't know i'm just obsessed with this pink and it also has slight shimmer in it this is from the sailor moon ColourPop collection i've literally had this for probably two or three years so it's probably expired oh it's in the shade cat's eye I'm trying to look for the expiration date and i don't see one so I guess it's fine to use forever. Okay, but once that is all on, I'll go in with a bigger face brush, brush out the setting powder from under my eyes, and just kind of use the excess to like set the rest of my face. Brows, I think I'm just gonna keep simple and do just like a brow gel through them instead of like doing the whole fucking thing because I don't know how long my tattoo is gonna take. I really don't think it's gonna take super long. So I might redo or just touch up my makeup before the date later. So I don't want to do like too, too much to the point where like I have to start over later. If that makes sense. I really don't know if it does. Oh my God, look, I have blue in my freaking hairline from last night. <laughs> but now you can't tell. Now I'm done. Um, and I think I'm just gonna straighten up my apartment a tiny bit until I have to go. Okay. <laughs> Updates. Hello Kitty. I got Hello Kitty. And it really didn't take that long. It only took like an hour. So now I'm back home and I've changed into some clothes that I'm okay with getting messy because um, I have a lot more time than I thought I would. So I am gonna do some pottery stuff. I'm gonna throw on the wheel for like, I oh don't know, maybe just an hour because I do want to still straighten up my apartment. I did earlier. I know you can't see my face. Right, let's just get that out of the way. Sorry, you can't see my face. I did straighten up my apartment earlier, but it's not spotless. And if, you know, I'm not saying I'm gonna take this girl back to my apartment, because I don't want, like, my goal, my, I don't have any, like, ulterior motives, you know, but what if we get food and we're like, we still want to hang out. You want to smoke because my apartment's five minutes away, you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning partially just in case, um, but also just because I should clean my apartment, but that's later. Right now is pottery, so I'm going to set up.
why my eye bags are so bad because I get the recommended amount of sleep. I don't fucking, I don't know. Anyway, good morning. Also, I woke up and my throat's kind of sore. I don't know what's up with that. It is 8.37. I just got back from getting coffee down in the lobby. Ran into two girls that um, adored Casper. That was great. Um, but I, for some reason, didn't have the heart to ask them to like, like, excuse me, I need to, I need to get over there to add creamer to my coffee. Um, and I don't know if this is still going to be good. Best diffused by May 9th. Hold on. It's not chunky. So I'm going to, I'm going to use it. Because <laughs> it's May the 4th. Be with you. Um, so, oh yeah. So, what did I record last? Not much. Not that I remember, at least. Uh, the date went very well. I don't want to, like, part of me, like, wants to give details, but also I'm like, no, like, I just want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it to Sage when I see her this weekend, um, instead of, like, telling you guys, because I'm not airing out my or her business <laughs> to my YouTube channel. But it went good. Um, we got Indian food, and then she came over, and we smoked a little bit and talked. And she left at like 10.30. We didn't do any funny business, okay? But she's also coming over again today, after she gets off work, um, just to like hang out and watch TV. I don't know what show I'm gonna make her watch. I'm really like, all right, Attack on Titan or Nana, like, what are we gonna do? Because I am terrible. <sighs> like, I don't know. Oh, I could make her watch Clone Wars. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna be like brainstorming throughout the day, like, what piece of media can I <laughs> put into your life, you know? Um, so, that's still not good, it's fine. Um, but that's later today. Cause I think she works till like four or something. I woke up with the urge to do pottery. Shocker, shocking, shock, shock, shocker. So I'm gonna do that again. Update, my battery died whenever I was throwing on the wheel, um, but I just like, I did pottery stuff. It's been a few hours since I recorded last because I was like, I'm just gonna do my thing. Um, literally just pottery stuff, but now I'm still doing pottery stuff, kind of. <laughs> I'm heating up some chicken nuggets, well, some cauliflower nuggets to eat, um, and I'm gonna start packing orders because I've been like so focused on like, creating art and like working on pottery stuff that I forgot like girl you gotta ship those so I like I'm setting up my printer because I haven't even set it up in the new place and I'm gonna like eat and then time like time lapse myself packing orders okay um y'all are gonna be so fucking mad at me it's not even funny because I haven't recorded in days because I just haven't like thought to pick up the camera and I actually did things. I've done several things including including visit Sage 
And I literally, I, the only reason I didn't vlog that is because I literally forgot to bring my camera and I, did, I realized it when it was too late because I was gonna like make up for my lack of recording because I told you guys that I was gonna time lapse myself packing orders and I couldn't do that because I fucking ran out of printer paper. I only had like four sheets left and I was like, oh, okay. And then I just didn't record anything else. Um, but the next vlog after this is gonna make up for this vlog because I'm going out of, I'm getting a tattoo today. I'm going out of town to see Sage today and I'm gonna be there for like three-ish days. So you guys will get some content. Um, but anyway, it's, I don't even know like literally when the last time I recorded was. It's been several days. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm ending this vlog. <laughs> I'm ending this vlog because I'm gonna like have the, I need to start recording the other vlog, which is actually gonna be like good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I fell a little bit out of my vlogging routine. I'm, I do genuinely feel bad. I've just been kind of out of my work routine recently. I don't know what it is, um, but I'm trying to get back into it. All right, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna go. There's literally clay on my fucking camera. Thank you for watching this fucking vlog. Sorry, it's kind of lame. The next one will be cool though. Um, and thank you for watching. If you liked this video, then like the video. If you like the video, comment on the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the video maker. Uh, oh, and I'll see you in the next video. I forgot. Why did I forget that? Okay, bye. <laughs>